Nearly 10,000 students head to their second day of school today in Georgetown County. As we begin a new school year, I sat down with the leaders of our local school districts. Today we head to Georgetown County. We have a lot of new initiatives going on. Dr. Randy Dozier has led the Georgetown County School District for 14 years. It's a smaller school district, kind of medium size. Um, very diverse. 9,700 students from Georgetown, Andrews, Waccamaw, Carver's Bay, and Pleasant Hill are back in the district's 18 schools with new technology and labs. We have one-on-one -on -one devices, Chromebooks for several grade levels. Uh, we'll, we'll continue with that. Ninth grades, we'll have laptops. We're putting in um, Z-Space labs at the high schools, uh, which are, are fairly expensive, but those are interactive. Um, labs where, say, you were doing uh, science, STEM classes, uh, dissection, you know, you could dissect a frog and actually touch and feel it but not kill the frog or have the smell or all the other things that go with it. So they have the 3D glasses and the pens. That's going to be really exciting. The district also has an award-winning security department. All of our schools, security-wise, have front entrance, what we call hardening. They have so security glass. You have to be checked in. You have a photo ID checked, uh, certainly to make sure you're not on any list. And, and uh, throughout the school, video cameras. GCSD will continue to have renovation projects this fall. The public, I'd like to thank them for that, passed a $165 million bond referendum, which impacts all the schools. Some of it won't be real exciting. It'll be HVAC work, roof work, but there'll be some really exciting things. We're renovating the tracks uh, all, at all the high schools. We're adding some gymnasiums, practice gyms, tennis courts, things that have been on the wish list for a long time. I hope they'll be excited about coming back to school. Georgetown County School District offers swimming classes to all second graders through a partnership with the Y.